What's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from Meineke Cinnaminson. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at GMs, uh, Chevys, um, just about all their trucks. The most common uh, EVAP system failure, which is the vent control valve. So I already unclipped this one, so this plastic tab holds this in place. We're going to take this off. Right. We're going to take a closer look inside the valve. All right, so this is what you're going to see. You can either get it with the whole piece in a hose or just that. So inside of here is a solenoid with a plunger that moves up and down. Inside of here is actually the filter assembly. You can see the dirt in there, ready? So what happens with all this dirt and dust, it actually starts to just wear away the seal inside there, or I've actually seen them clog completely with dirt. So we're going to take this top off and see what's going on. Sit tight for just a second. So we're going to pop these tabs off. Because mind you, I've been doing this a long time, but I don't usually take this shit apart. I'm just trying to get through the job and move on to the next. So here's what's on the inside of the filter. All right, so you can see that right there. Now you can see the micron of that is very large. Now we're gonna look inside of here. Look at all the dirt and shit that sucked into the filter case. And then what happens is here, the gas tank has positive and negative movements based on vacuum from the uh, purge valve. Purge valve closes, opens, applies vacuum to the gas tank system. This actually vents. So this is your vent control valve. So the positive and negative movement of the purge valve predicates what this thing's sucking in and out. Not only that, while it's under your truck, uh, and depending on what areas of the world you live in and what environment you drive in, shit, you gotta be going through a purge valve every couple of years. So maybe if this thing had a serviceable filter, um, and this is just my thought, a better filter system, more like an air filter than just this, because this is basically just to catch large particles, but you could see all that dirt and dust inside there is what really takes these out. Um, and that's if they're not sealing. Uh, it also could be just that the solenoid is bad inside. Um, but keep in mind, these are under your truck. So if you're driving through two foot of water, guess what? Your vent solenoid is taking a beating. So that's what you have inside of your GM and Chevy vent solenoids. They're pretty much commonly the same design here. I've seen a couple different fig configurations here. I've also seen the Chevys, uh, the GMCs come with a relocation kit. Uh, I don't think a relocation kit is going to help anybody. Um, it may improve it or slow it down, but it depends on what you're using it for. What they really need to do is improve the filtration system of this. And I'm shocked that they haven't, but they're keeping us busy with EVAP codes, GM and Chevy. Thank you. Thanks for watching.